Okay, there, gosh, did you change the slide? I didn't even register that you changed it. So uh, just really what is foodborne illness? I know that many of you have probably taken a certified food protection managers course. And so uh, you know already uh, the seriousness of foodborne illness. But just to give you a few statistics, uh, the Center for Disease Control is the, the governmental organization that keeps track of this sort of thing. Uh, an average of 48 million cases of foodborne illness each year in the United States. It's one in six people. We all know that uh, many of us have had those symptoms before. There's 128,000 hospitaliz 100, 128, hospitalizations and unfortunately 3,000 deaths. And so uh, when we are aware of that, we have to then think, well, who does this involve? Well, as a cottage food producer, you need to know your customer because there are members of our society that are more susceptible to foodborne illness than others. And so those populations um, that we consider to be at high risk, uh, folks who are a little more susceptible, folks who you can eat the same thing that they ate and they can end up sick and you would be just fine. And so when you are selling food to the public, you must assume that some of the people who you're going to be selling food to will be immune compromised. And so who are these groups of people? Well, infants and preschool age children who haven't fully developed their immune system yet. Pregnant women. And uh, we all know that pregnant women's bodies are, are more susceptible. They're just super busy growing that, uh, that uh, new baby and older adults. And this is because as we age, the acid in our stomach becomes less acidic. And so things that our body, our stomach could have, could have handled, could have fought off uh, organically as we age, that just doesn't happen anymore. And uh, the, the results can be devastating. And then people with immune, we can weaken immune systems due to illness or medical treatment. And so that's uh, that's why we have to consider um, taking extra precautions. 